Hello there and welcome to the Tilt channel. Today we're going to talk about the mystifying tilt. So what do I mean by that? We want tilt to feel like magic. Uh, all you need is a tilt file and some configs and tilt can spin up your entire app on Kubernetes and respond instantly to changes. That's cool. So anyone from the most senior developer to a new hire to QA to that engineer who's absolutely terrified of Kubernetes should be able to run tilt up and have it just work. Now, when someone first encounters Tilt, usually their mental model is something like this. So write a config file, magic happens, and everything goes live. And for most people, this level of understanding is plenty. Tilt responds to your changes, the right code is always running in your cluster, and that's all that really matters. But sometimes you need to know a little more about what's going on. Maybe for debugging, maybe for creating custom functionality, or maybe you're just curious. So in this video, we're going to clarify the workflow. We're going to clarify Tilt's internal flow and show you from a high level what actually happens to go from Tilt file to services running in Kubernetes. Let's take a look. On the cluster part of this diagram, that's your application running in Kubernetes. And as far as Tilt is concerned, these objects, and they can be pods, jobs, deployments, ingresses, anything, as well as any other bit of work that Tilt might have to do, they're organized into resources. And that's what those things on the Tilt sidebar really represent. So a resource is any bundle of work managed by Tilt. It can be a container image to build plus some YAML to deploy. So this may be one of the microservices you're working on. It can be just Kubernetes YAML to deploy like a database instance, or it can be a command to run a local host. And this can be anything you want. So an example would be running a script that generates some artifact, which you're gonna sync somewhere. I don't know, it can be anything. Now, the important question is how does Tilt know what your resources are and how to execute them? And the answer to that is the Tilt file. A tilt file, as you might know, is a config file written in Starlark. And Starlark is kind of a dialect of Python. So it's real code and you can use conditionals, loops, functions, all of that. Now, important bit, the tilt file itself does not execute anything in your cluster. Instead, it stitches together information about your resources and relays that information to the tilt engine. So for example, here we're using a KTML function to tell Tilt about Kubernetes objects that need deploying. And we're using the Docker build function to tell Tilt about how to build images. So let's talk about the KTML function call. It does not apply any YAML to your cluster directly. Instead, it registers that YAML internally. When Tilt is done parsing the Tilt file, then all that information is gonna be packaged up into resources and sent to the Tilt engine where then it can be actually applied. Something else to note is that Tilt has some heuristics to group together related bits of work into the same resource. So for example, if you tell Tilt to build an image called my service, and you give Tilt YAML to deploy an image called my service, Tilt's gonna put the two and two together and group those instructions into a single resource, even though that was two separate function calls. And one last bit of information that is uh, relevant here is that Tilt's gonna watch your Tilt file and any files that feed into it. So if Tilt detects any changes that might affect the output of the Tilt file, it's going to, of course, reevaluate and reparse uh, the Tilt file again. All right, so at this point, we know what resources are and we know how to define them in the Tilt file. So let's talk about the next step and that is how does Tilt execute those resources and when does Tilt execute those resources? Now, to execute the resource in the first place, the how is gonna depend on what the resource is. So as we mentioned earlier, a resource can be an image and some YAML, it can be just some YAML or it can be a local command. So of course, if it's a local command, we just run the command locally. Uh, now, if there are image build instructions present in the resource, we of course build the image. And if there's Kubernetes YAML present, then we deploy the YAML to the cluster. And just a note here, uh, Tilt can also modify a running container in place for faster updates. So you can look into live update for that, but that's a separate discussion. Now, uh, moving on. A very important part of Tilt is that it updates your cluster in real time. It is always running the most current code and it's always running the most current configuration. So how does Tilt know when it's time to update things so that everything is always current? And the answer to that is by watching for certain key events. 
Those events generally are a change to the resources definition in the tilt file. So of course, if a resource changes, you need to update the resource. Second, a user manually triggering the execution of that resource. So when you press the refresh button in the tilt interface, there you go. And the last, the last item is a change to a file that a resource cares about. Now, you might be wondering, how is it that tilt knows what files a resource cares about? And the answer to that is twofold. It can be both implicitly and explicitly. So explicitly, you may define in the tilt file uh, that the resource depends on certain files and folders. And implicitly, tilt assumes, for example, that if you're building an image and the context is the my service directory, then any file changes in that directory should affect the resource and thus trigger an update. Now let's wrap this up and do a quick recap of all of Tilt's control flow. First, execute the Tilt file in its entirety and create resource definitions. Some of these are configured manually and some Tilt uses heuristics to assemble. And then whenever the Tilt file changes, re-execute it and update the internal resource definitions. Next, the Tilt engine executes resources and if any resources contain Kubernetes objects, these end up deployed to your cluster. Lastly, resources get updated whenever there's a triggering event. These can be a definition changing, a relevant file changing, or the user manually triggering a resource. And this way, uh, Tilt can make sure that you're always running the latest files and the latest configs. And this way, you, the developer, don't have to worry about that. Hopefully, this video was helpful in giving you a better understanding of how Tilt's control flow works internally. This knowledge should make it easier for you to debug your applications and to create custom functionality. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.